Now, of course, there's these stories about the masters of the Himalayas, uh, Babaji, who can uh, manifest a body and so be here physically, whatever body he wants, and then dissolve it, which might be what is the story of Jesus ascending, that the all these little people that make us up, all these little molecules and little cells and DNAs and all cooperating, individual in themselves, cooperating to make a liver or a heart and then cooperating to make us, that they all go back to their natural frequency and dissolve back into the oneness again. So there are these stories that people can do that in the Himalayas. And that seems definitely a possibility to me. Uh, I'd like to be able to do that. Because you could teleport that way and it would save on airfare and things if you wanted to travel, which I don't anymore. So we're coming back to this, let's call it a possibility, that there is more to you than you realize. Not only more, but it's infinite, infinite. Infinite. Here's one little thing that gets my mind up in a knot. <clears throat> scientists are now saying, I mean, reputable scientists are saying, there are more stars in our galaxy, not the universe, our galaxy, there are more stars in our galaxy than there are grains of sand on every single beach in the world. See? And there are more galaxies than every single grain of sand on our beaches. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Infinite, infinite. And of course, the mind cannot comprehend infinity. The mind has to have a beginning and an end. And what's been said by Jesus and many wise people, there is no beginning, there is no end. The Big Bang wasn't the beginning. We're not going to... Infinite. <laughs> 